You drive past these sites every day without giving them a second glance, unaware of their true history or significance. Learn more about Nashville Public Library's new exhibit, Hiding in Plain Sight, Portraits of Nashville's Elusive Past, on this week's Arts Break. Robert has actually been researching these stories for over 30 years. So the stories were the starting point. We had this list, this massive list of all these places, and <laughs> Robert drove me all over town, like reciting this incredible oral history of Nashville. And I love this story, you may be able to repeat Rocking it. Rocking around the Christmas tree, friendly. I, I know, I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Anna is a very intuitive person. She would take the story to heart, really, and when she photographed these places, she told, tells me she would hear my voice in her head telling the story and try to capture what the story was. These are ordinary places that you wouldn't bat an eye at, and her eye and her talent makes these places look extraordinary. They look beautiful. I mean, it's just a trailer park, it's just a church, it's just a grave, it's just a house, but she makes them come alive. I have been studying the civil rights movement for years here in Nashville. John Lewis, the congressman from Georgia, he was one of the, the Nashville students who sat in at the lunch counters. John Lewis has a book, and in that book, he gives the church's name and its address and says, this is the cradle of the civil rights movement. And I thought, you know what? There should be a monument there. I mean, this is where this, the, the, the techniques of nonviolent protest were, were, were taught. He says, this is where, this, where the whole thing begins in the basement of that church. And Anna took the content of that story and went to the church and literally kneeled in the street in front of it and pointed up in this golden light and she makes it look as important as it really is to history. That church is important and people need to know about it. People that grew up here in Nashville walk away remembering things. They remember places they went with people they loved when they were young. They um, become excited about places they've been and they learn something new about it. People that are from out of town come away with it, this really rich picture of Nashville that might be broader than what they would see if they stayed just in one part of the city or, or on Broadway. They come away with this sense of Nashville as a whole. It seems that everyone who walks in the exhibit can connect to it in some way. Hiding in Plain Sight, Portraits of Nashville's Elusive Past is on display through September 21st at the downtown branch of the Nashville Public Library. For more information, visit us online at wnpt.org slash arts. This NPT Arts Break is made possible by the generous support of the Ingram Charitable Fund.